allowed to do that. Okay, that's debunked another myth. I mean, I'm sure it's like, oh no, is this is this your local store? Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be an extra special one. I'm going to be asking Marianne, who I have with me, I'm going to give her a quick introduction soon. And we're going to go through like some rapid fire questions. And we've got some juicy stuff as well. So the good, the bad and the ugly. So you want to stay chilled to the very end because I haven't even heard this. But yeah, I'm going to get Marianne to literally spill some tea on Hermes. So a very quick interruption guys, but a good interruption. I just wanted to preface this video by saying that this was actually filmed last year when I visited the French Riviera with Seven Rue Parody back in October, but we were waiting to release this video and now is the perfect time because one, you guys know that I'm celebrating my four years on YouTube and two, I'm also celebrating three and a half years working with Seven RP. They're one of the first companies I worked with and they have provided such a super special code. I wanted to show you the insert that I just got a couple of days ago, which is this one in their new color Blanc. It's probably blowing out a little bit, but I just wanted to show you in my black Kelly. Can you see when you look into it, it looks like a big black hole. Don't be afraid to go for a contrast insert. When I put this in, look how much it brightens everything up. I mean, oh my goodness, you can see into the bag. How beautiful is that as a black and white? So that is a new color. And I also wanted to quickly show you this is another new color called Vert Claire and this is my Kelly 28 in Retin-A. So both of these, this is Retin-A and this is Cellier and if you notice these are the inserts but the Retin-A one is actually slightly longer than the Cellier one because each of the inserts are made specifically for each bag. So all these little details matter. And don't be afraid of going for a light color because these are actually machine washable. They're made of Alcantara. You guys know that how much I love these inserts. They're the only ones I would use, you know, for my special H babies. And these are contrasting colors, but they also do have inserts for the Evelyn. As you can see, this time I have gone tonal. See, it just looks like it's part of the bag. It's so gorgeous. So the special good news is that I've asked 7RP to celebrate the release of this video and my four years for a super duper special code. So if you were interested in getting a insert for your Kelly or your Birkin or Evelyn or even the Dior Book Tote, just insert my special code, which is MIM35 if you wanted to get one. But just for five days only, guys, if you wanted to buy two, you can put in MIM85 and you can get 85 euro off two inserts, any two inserts, any sizes. So this has never, ever been done before. This is even higher than my previous highest ever code. So if you wanted an insert, perfect time to make use of the offer because they've got all this new range of beautiful colors. As I've said, they've also got this beautiful blush color, which hopefully I would love next to go with my Rose Sakura. But as I said, I've been working with them for three and a half years. My original Birkin here, you can see, look how beautiful it looks with Blue Electric, even my Magnolia. If you look at this, I've chosen an orange insert and look how gorgeous that looks and it just fits perfectly. So I'll leave all the details in the description bar below, but that's my exclusive code. And let's get back into asking Marianne all the juicy things about Hermes. So I have Marianne with me. Thank you so much for taking the time to answer all my viewers' questions. Thank you, Mel, for having me on your channel. It's going to be a conversation. We are, I've just got so many questions. So if you see me referring to my phone, it's because, yeah, there were so many questions. But let me tell you a little bit about Marianne because there's a lot of things that you guys may not know. Not only is she the founder of Seven Rue Parody, which you guys know I have talked about 
like so much but did you know that marianne actually has a haute couture background so she's worked for the likes of chanel and Givenchy. she has been a hermes collector for 30 years she's an hermes authenticator as well so she is a wealth of knowledge and i'm just so excited to go through all these questions with her so are you ready marianne i'm ready Guys, this is going to be a super casual video. We want you to feel like you're in the room with us and we're just having a conversation. We've got our wine glasses. Cheers, Marianne. Cheers. So grab a cup of tea or your beverage of choice and let's get started. Okay, so I know that your very first bag came from the late 80s. I would love for you to share your first Hermes bag. Here it is. Oh my goodness. So tell us, what is this? This is a Kelly. Mm -hmm. Cellier. Cellier. 32. Ostrich skin. Yes. Chestnut color. Chestnut. Gold hardware. It is beautiful. And I can't... So when, when did you purchase this? How old is this bag? 30 years, pretty much. It is in immaculate condition, isn't it? Yes. Um, ostrich is a very, very good skin. Yeah. It ages beautifully. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. I just love how you've even put it with the Gucci Twilly. Yeah. See guys, there's no rules. You can mix and match your Twillies however you want. And I love, I love this color. You guys know I'm not usually a fan of ostrich, but after saying Marianne's, I think I'm kind of converted because it's so beautiful. It is like Celia is my favorite as well. So I think you it's... You can handle it. Oh my goodness. I think I might keep it. <laughs> it is so beautiful. I can't, guys, you think I take care of my bags? I'm looking at Marianne's 30 year old ostrich bag and it's in perfect condition. And is this, this strap, this strap didn't come with it, did it? Back no, then? it was no. a special order. It's a special I, order. I waited uh, two years almost for this Two strap. years. Yes, because I wanted short. Yeah. And of, obviously I wanted matching my bag. So yes. it was not, available I it wasn't available wait. I had to wait to I love it. it I've actually never seen a Kelly 32 with this shorter canvas strap and it makes it really cool it's very comfortable you're so cool handle. Marianne yeah yeah oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you I love it I just and everyone thinks like Kelly Cellier it's too big but I'm gonna get Marianne to model this bag and you'll see an oversized Kelly bag when she wears it on the shoulder it does look so chic and cool really isn't it really cool thank I love it i love using it oh i love it thank you so much for sharing that thank you thanks so i understand since that was your first hermes piece one question that we got so much i think like 10 or 15 times the viewers want to know what would you recommend as your first hermes piece well uh, um that was not my first Hermes piece. Oh, that wasn't your first Hermes piece? Oh, no, first Hermes, Hermes bag. Yes. I see. My first Hermes piece was a scarf. Was a scarf. Oh, and yeah. I loved it, of course. I bought it, I used it. I was very, very young. Yes. I loved it. Yeah. And then my second Hermes piece was okay. a shawl. Was a shawl, yeah. And I should have started with a shawl, by the way. It was much better than the scarf yeah. for what I use because you can take on, on the plane, mm -hmm. you can uh, wear it in summer, true, in winter, yeah. anytime. It's and the, fabulous. And the designs are so beautiful. They are colorful. You can pick any color yeah. that goes with your yes. hair color. It's, it's really nice. If you want to start with a bag, okay. what would you, you pick? You can pick any bag yes. that you will be using. Yes. It's important to use the bag so you fall in, in love with the brand. It's very important, like it suits their lifestyle, yes, right? Yes, yeah, exactly. Agree, agree. You can um, you can start with the Evelyn. Yeah, which I is love a, the Evelyn. It's fabulous. I love because it because you you can wear it every day yeah. on the plane, on the travel, yes. for work, yeah, for errands. Okay, I love it too. So Marianne's recommendation: Evelyn for a bag and shawl. Yes, definitely. Thing. I will. I love scarves and shawls, so I would have to agree with her on that. So that is Marianne's recommendations. So the next question, and we got so many questions on this topic, is all about investment. So my viewers want to know, what is the best Hermes investment? Well, I guess everybody is aware uh, Birkins and Birkin. Kelly's yes. are excellent investments. Yes. 
and uh, I would never say the contrary because it's a, it's a truth. Yeah, because if you if you were to buy a Birkin and Kelly now, like we went to the store, bought one, we could sell it and make a few thousand, couldn't we? Right. Yeah. That's true. Yes. Uh, also, if you wait a few years, yes. you can still sell your bag used and you will at least get your money back. Exactly. So it's a good investment. Yep. Yep. Kelly's and Birkin's are good investments. Absolutely. Um, I have a preference for the Kelly. You have a preference for the Kelly? Yes. Okay. Because I think it's a safer investment on the very long term. Long term. Okay. Maybe, I'm not sure you you oh. know this. No, I probably don't, this. but... I, I wanted to show you this catalog, uh, little catalog oh. from uh, Le Monde Hermès. And you see here, there is a picture of the Kelly, yes. which was not even named Kelly at that time. Yes. So the Kelly... I'm going to do a close-up, guys, of this catalog, by the way. <laughs> so I have to pause the video and tell you some information here because it's so interesting. So as you can see, I'm pointing to a picture of the Kelly bag. But did you know, you can even see it circled here, that the Kelly bag was actually called Sakamon de Voyage. Please excuse my French. And you see I've got it circled here. So I always thought that the Kelly bag was formerly named Saka de Peche, which translates to breaking news bag. So when I looked at the Hermes website, the current bag is a very different shape. And Sakamon de Voyage actually translates to travel handbag. And if you also notice from this pic, you're probably thinking, oh, I see something that looks like the Birkin. And I asked Marianne about this. And did you know that this original style, as you can see, it's circled here, was actually called Otakuhua, which translates to tour with straps. That is why, which I never thought of before, the current hack H-A-C stands for Otokohua because originally this bag was designed years ago to carry riding boots or saddles, hence why the hack is taller in nature. That is why it translates to tall with straps. So that totally made sense to me. And it wasn't until, you know, Jane Birkin met Mr. Dumas, who was the CEO of Hermes in the 1980s, that he actually designed a tote version with the features of the hack, but in more daily proportions. And that was how the Birkin was born. So I thought that was so interesting. And I had to mention it because this is new pieces of information that I couldn't find online anywhere. And only because Marianne had these catalogs catalog that I just learned this. How old is this catalog? Oh, I think it's from the early, very early uh, year 50. So long before Grace Kelly uh, this is from adopted the, the Kelly bag. Wow. This is from the 50s. This is amazing. So I can understand why you said the Kelly is because it's been around for like since the 40. When did it? Do, do you know when? I think uh, the, the very first, first one, one was in the 40s. 40s. Yes. It's been around for ages. So next question, what is the most durable Hermes leather? Well, in the current collections, okay. uh, my preference goes to Epsom. Epsom? Yes. Thing. Okay. Why? Um, it's almost rainproof. Yep. Rainproof. It's almost crash proof. It's very durable. I it's think. really, really yes. durable. Yes. I heard, I mean, I love Epsom. You guys know I own so many Epsom bags. But I heard, and from what I've read, is that when Epsom you get a scratch, it's not repairable. Is that true? Uh, this is what is being said. Yeah. But I've seen an Epsom bag being repaired in really? front of my eyes, my eyes sorry, yeah. um, by the craft person in a boutique oh. and she showed me how to do it yeah. and uh, I watched the whole process yeah. and in less than 10 minutes the scratch was gone. gone, completely gone. Yeah, so for those of you that are not aware, Epsom is like an embossed leather, isn't right. it? So when there is a scratch, usually when there is a, a, you know, a deeper scratch, you see white underneath. So you've seen the case, because I know you, you've been an authenticator for like 20 plus years too, like a big scratch, it is repairable. Absolutely. We've just debunked a myth because, I mean, not that I have a scratch on my bag, but, you know, I do have friends that have scratches on the Epsom. They went and got it sparred, it came back 
you know, still the scratch was visible. And it's so interesting to know that, because this was years ago, so they used to like repair it. So she, you're yes. saying she repaired it in front of you? Yes, in the store. How interesting. In the store. And that it's was, just gone. Yeah. Gone. Well, that's good. I like Epsom even more. And so Epsom is the most durable in your opinion? Yes. Yeah, okay. I like also Togo. Yeah, I think Togo. It's a, it has um, proven yep. durability because yes. Togo is around, uh, has been around so, for so many years. Yes, so yes. There is popular no choice. Yeah. Uh, it will uh, a, a Togo bag will maybe sag if it's in a bigger size like a thirty five. Uh, thirty five. But yep. as long as you uh, go for a, a, a smaller bag like yep. a thirty two or a, a thirty, there is yes. absolutely no it's problem. Fine. And it's also very pleasant to use and to feel. Yes, I like the yes. feeling of Togo, of course. Okay. Uh, same thing with Torillon. I love it too. Yes. It's a, a bit heavier, but yep. it's still very, very nice. Yes. But beyond leathers, mm -hmm. um, in my experience, okay. crocodile croc is the most durable really? material. I spy Marianne's croc Kelly there. I'm dying to have a look. Could we please have a look at that, Let Marianne? Let me show you. <gasps> So, wow, that is beautiful. So this is Croc? This is Croc. Okay, tell us about this. What size is this? Oh, this is a Kelly, Kelly. 35. Yes. It is a crocodile porosus. Porous crocodile, uh, yep. The best thing about this bag yes. is that it is older than I am. Wow, so, yeah. So this is from what era? Is it like from... The, 1950s. Wow. I would say early 50s. Why is crocodile so durable? It's natural skin. Yeah. It's very thick. Yes. It's very strong. It's almost indestructible. It's, it wears like iron. It, it wears like iron. Yes. Wow. And you, you, you can uh, take it to Hermes for uh, spa. Spa. Like refurbishment if there yes. is anything. And they will uh, they will uh, make it shine again. They mm -hmm. will change the parts and whatever. And the bag is still. So is you still bought here. this. This is a vintage one. You bought yes. this. It's in great condition. I need to ask because I don't know if you guys can pick it up from the camera, but I see initials here. Oh, yes. Like is that? Oh, I've never seen that before. Probably from the former owner. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's very interesting because they are solid gold. Solid? Yes. So like... Those are, those are the Hermes in this... Uh, like 22 carat or something. Oh, 24. 24. 20, 24. 24 carat. Wow. And is all this in solid as well? Oh, no, no, no. no, no. This is the, okay. the, the Just usual the normal, hardware, the usual. But, this but is the initials are uh, solid gold. I didn't even realize you can get that done. So you can request that or is that only in the past? Oh, that was in the past. I guess uh, you could uh, yep. now request initial if mm -hmm. you like it's but it's very expensive oh, I'm sure. and Solid very 24. unusual <laughs> yeah it's very unusual i've never seen that they'd rather so. um print the initials on the clochette or yes you know, yeah on, yeah on that's bags. true they tend mm -hmm. to do that thank you so much for sharing your beautiful black beauty with us marianne and i have to say like both your bags that i've seen they're just in immaculate condition what do you do is there a secret <laughs> is there a proper way to store your Hermes bags. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, the proper way to store your Hermes bags, in my experience, yes, and it has proven good, yes, is to store it straight up, straight up, upright, in the dust bag, in the dust bag, outside of the box, outside of the box. Oh yes. Okay. Why not in the box? Well, you know, the box, uh, the box has uh, this particularity. Okay. That um, there is some uh, glue between the orange uh, cover and the card the cardboard with time yes uh, the smell of the glue uh, can come up oh and so it's it's not so pleasant so if you if you store the box i mean if you store your bag uh lying down are you saying that oh this is not good for the bag it's not good for the bag no yeah no, because uh, it, it would mm -hmm. lay uh that way yeah and you know push on that part of yeah. the bag and this is no good for the shoulder of your Kelly. On the shoulder of the Kelly, uh, yeah. I, I call this part the shoulder oh, okay. and this is not good because it, it makes a, a, a pressure point. Okay. It's not good at all. Okay. So you, you rather Stand have up. your bag standing up. And that up. applies to the Birkin too, doesn't it? Like, same thing. Same thing. Same so thing. it can affect like uh, 
really the corners of the bag and how yes. it will damage that. It's not good. And then what were you saying about the box? Like if you lay it down, like the the glue or something because it's stuck together. It oh, will, it's, it's it's the smell. Oh, the by smell itself. That is so kind of funny. It's a funny smell. Mm -hmm. So you might have a stinky bag. Might. Okay. Well, that's good enough reason to store your bags upright. She stores her bags really well. And I have to ask, is that how you came up for the idea of 7RP? Because oh, partly yes. Yes? Partly yes. Yes. First of all, uh, I I wanted to to find a good way to protect the inside the of inside. my bags. Yep. Yep. Uh, you know, Mel, uh, since I started with Hermes bags, yes. uh, I only use Hermes bags. Yes. So it's been 30 years that yes. I use Hermes bags. Uh, all days, yes. every day. So, of course, not the same bag, yeah, but yeah. you know, I find uh, the right bag for the right moment. So, right, I have right. an extensive experience of using my bags Absolutely. and I have seen some bags aging. Yes. And so, uh, what I um, have thought is I had to find a way um, of protecting the inside of mm -hmm. my bag, maintaining the shape of the soft bags, not the cellier, of yeah, course, this of course. one is a cellier, yeah. it doesn't the need it. The, uh, but the, you know, the yeah. retourné ones, retourné. sometimes they need a yes. little bit of shaping, and also add a little bit of organization mm. inside the bag. Mm. Especially uh, back in the years when the, the trend was about larger The bigger size. bags, yeah, because this is a 35. Uh, yeah. y you were digging inside your bag to yeah. find your keys and your yeah. wallet and everything so you know a little bit of organization so really you've been better. thinking about this for years yes i was thinking about a way of augmenting the experience yes. that i had with my bags yeah i i so much love my bags i don't want to change bags so I was thinking of a way of augmenting the experience. So that's how 7RP, I guess the idea was birthed, right? Exactly. Can you tell me a, a bit more about, you know, 7RP for my viewers that, you know, may not know about it, even though I talk about it so much. Tell me a little bit about Lancert and 7RP. Well, Lancert is uh, Lancert. Yeah, Lancert. <laughs> that's the name. Yeah. Um, um, goes into your bag. Yes. And it gives you additional pockets. Yes. You can plug in your phones yeah. and everything. And uh, it shapes your bag. It protects the inside of your bag. Yes. And also it organizes the, organizes the of bag. Your bag. Yeah, as Marianne was saying, I mean, back then, because the, you know, bigger bags were in trend, organization is a huge part. So it makes the experience as, you know, we know Hermes bags are beautiful. But there's nothing worse than opening your bag up and trying to find everything. So now that it's all organized, but as I said, it keeps the shape of the bag so well. I mean, especially for my return and in and, and leathers like, uh, you know, Clemence, yes. especially, it helps retain the shape. Exactly. And I guess this ties into the whole idea of storage because I know I store all my Hermes and Kelly bags uh, with my insert. And oh, that's good. I feel like, like my Togo, is really retained its shape because the minute I take it out, it sort of starts sagging a bit more, which is natural, we know. Yes, that's but natural. But it's like a three-way thing, isn't it? Organize, protects, and shapes it. Exactly. Okay, right. this is another question I got asked heaps, I think maybe 20 times in different variations. So I'm really interested to hear Mary Ann's answer. And the question is, how do you go about getting a Birkin or Kelly in store? I mean, like, how do you score a Birkin or Kelly? Well, I guess it's well known. Yes. That, uh, Hermes uh, wants their client to be loyal. Yes. So you will have to go through their rules. Their rules. What is their rules? Is there a rule? Um, generally, you have to buy things yes. like scarves and watches yes. and shoes yes. and a little bit of what so they, they want... call side buys. Yes. And side buys. Side buys, yes. Lovely so they want side lovely side. So they want you to sort of like show loyalty a bit. Yes. They want you to like appreciate, yes. you know, love the brand to show that you're interested. Yes. Right. Yeah. So you will be offered to make a reservation, or they will maybe offer you a bag, or yep. you can get an appointment depending on the store you go to. Yes. Yes. Um, but if you want to avoid that, you can also buy your first bag, or you can buy mm. any bag used yeah you can go to a lovely second-hand shop yes and score a 
really lovely bag. You can. Yes. Um, you guys know I'm such a secondhand vintage lover as well. I'm actually really glad that Marianne brought that up because there are reputable, you know, secondhand pre-love sites that you can buy a Birkin and Kelly, right? If you don't want to go through that really? experience. I mean, I do need to just stop and point out, yes, Paris is the only city in the world where they've got that appointment system. You you sometimes don't need a purchase history and you can score a bag. So this is, I think what Marianne's saying is generally speaking for generally. all the stores. I've done a video on that, how to score a Birkin and Kelly in Paris. I will link that above. That has not changed. So if you wanted to know, I think also like Hawaii and Japan, sometimes they have a bit more stock. So it is possible sometimes as walk-ins, but generally I would say most of the time you need to, you need to build up a you relationship. Know, you need to build up a relationship, don't you? You need to kind of spend. Build your bio history. You need to buy build your bio history. But what is is there any advantages of buying on the second hand market? You were saying, you know, this I know I know you've bought your some of your bags pre -loved. May I show you my bag? Yes, I would love to. Um, okay. So this is a bag I bought used. Yes. It's a Kelly twenty eight sale. Twenty eight. Uh, it's made of box leather, which box. I personally love. I know it's not for the fainted heart, but I love it. Yes. And uh, I bought it used. I, I think it's it's really, really nice. And yes. it's quite comparable to uh, a new one. Yes. Like your, your Yes, bag. I have a 28, uh, as you guys know, I have a 28 uh, Cellier as well. So let's, I'm going to grab it so we can do a bit of a comparison. And so this is mine here. And... Honestly, like I guess you were saying that you bought this second hand, pre loved. You can get what you want, I guess, like instead of you can pick. Yes, not you pick, can pick, but like yeah, they've okay. got they have uh, in the second hand shop yeah. you can you can choose from yes, you many can choose. bags yeah. because they have at least ten bags. Yeah, exactly, something. exactly. So yeah. you can choose and yeah. most of the time you you can fall in love with something on the shelf. Yeah. I mean yours is box leather. Yes. Like and it's it's really beautiful and i guess i've always been a little bit weary of box leather you should not yeah no. get a box get a bag in box leather definitely so it's more durable than you think it's quite durable isn't it yes yeah quite yes but it will show scratches well you know the scratches they will show for the um, at the beginning of, yeah. of the life of your bag yeah. like three years and yes. then the scratches will melt with the patina yeah and no scratches it will just sort longer. of like like uh melt, melt into yes. the bag may i have a closer look sure. at your bag i'm looking at this box leather and marianne's as i said you whilst you can see a few kind of scratches like it's no way as bad as I thought, and it actually feels, I don't know, it just, it's got a weight, it just feels really luxurious, doesn't it? I love it. Oh, geez, I think Marianne's like making my wish list even longer. Ostrich, croc, box, it is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yours is beautiful. Oh, thank I you. Love it. <laughs> I love the Palladium hardware. Thank you. So we're going to get to some juicy questions. And since it actually leads on really well, because we were talking about the whole process and everything, I want to ask Marianne, what do you think about the Hermes game? Like you mentioned before, you've got to buy side buys, as you, you called it, to sometimes be offered a bag and things like that. What do you think of it? Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty, you know, uh, I love the brand. Yes, I love so the brand. I understand also that... Uh, it is their marketing yes. um, strategy. strategy. So there is nothing we can do about no. it. It's either we play the game or we don't. Yes. That's it. Yes. But the, it is, isn't it? Like, for those of you that may not know about Hermes, but there is this sort of unspoken rule in a way that you kind of have to buy to be offered. And I also got this question a lot saying, you know, how much do you have to buy? But as far as I know, and correct me if I'm wrong, Marianne, but there is no set amount, is there? No. It just depends on it's your depends. on your sales associate yes. and who you get yes. because it could be anything. It could but be you anything. have to usually buy. You have yes. to show that you have interest in the brand. You have yeah. to show that you are ready to buy. You're ready to buy. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's very subtle. Yeah, it's very subtle. And but what do you think of the 
the game that because this is their strategy we all know this is Hermes marketing strategy and obviously you know both of us are H lovers but I have to admit it's sometimes it's 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 a little uh, annoying if I can say so what do you think <laughs> I feel sometimes it's a bit frustrating frustrating yes and yeah, when I, I get so. to this feeling of frustration I walk out of, of yeah, the store yeah. and you know I come back another day maybe yeah. with a better mood myself yeah. and uh, ready to buy some yes. scarves or yeah. shawls yeah. or shoes I'm a big big lover of, of shoes, MS shoes yeah. anyway. but things that you want to buy right yes, yes. yes. I yes. think that's important because you know it's actually I guess quite reassuring to know that even though Marianne is an authenticator, is a love of bags for 30 years Everyone has to go through this sort of game, you know, this Hermes thing. So it's good to know it's not just, you know, like I know sometimes I get frustrated, annoyed, but you go through the same situation sometimes exactly. too. Yes. So guys, don't feel too bad no. because... It's not reserved to the newcomers. It's not just reserved to the newcomers. It's even... You everybody know, you has a, to play the game. Every, everybody has to dance. Every, everybody has to dance. So as you guys can see, there are quite a lot of goodies on the table because I want to ask... Marianne, aside from Hermes bags, what do you collect? So let, I'm going to ask her to take us through it. Okay, uh, what you see here is, is um, a collection I'm very proud of. Yeah. It is Le Monde Hermes. So just for my viewers, Le Monde Hermes is, this is a magazine that uh, Hermes brings out twice a year? Twice a year. Twice a year. And look at this collection. So keep going. <laughs> so I have uh, started maybe in the middle of the pile. Yes. And I have then looked at older issues, yes. released, and the older I could get was uh, 1983. Wow. I'm very proud of this. So you have every single magazine from 1983? Yes, I do. Wow. And of course. Of, of course, the current one. Of course, the current ones. And yeah, it's such a fabulous source of knowledge about yep. Hermes. Also, leathers, mm. colors, styles, everything. Here you can see an, a white ostrich pochette, which wow. is delicious. I'm going to show you guys close many, up of this. Many, many, many things are pictures in those uh, Mont Hermes. And Mont Hermes. It's, it's really beautiful. I should I love have, it. like. I need to go back and look for mine now just to, you know, start collecting. But it's really interesting because when you look through all these, they probably look through, Hermes probably look through these themselves and get inspiration, I don't they? So. Yeah. I guess so. Uh, when Jean-Paul Gaultier was uh, hired to make the ready-to-wear collection, yeah. um, he designed uh, Palazzo pants oh. in uh, a silk um, a scarf design, yep, a scarf yep, yep, pattern. Yep, yep. And I don't know. I was lucky enough to go through my collection, and I found I found the exact same design. Oh, you're like you got this from 1987 or whatever it may exactly. be. Exactly. <laughs> that, that was a very old one, and yeah. I saw it, and I was oh, how clever the guy is because he has put again yes. under the light yeah. something that was already in the collection, yes. and it looks so fresh and so current and so actual. Yes, and besides this amazing you know collection i see some watches here can you tell us a little bit about oh, this, these this watches is my little secret yes what makes this such a secret oh they are sterling sterling silver sterling silver, sterling silver. so sterling silver uh marianne was telling me I'm, i've actually stolen her uh, bracelet to wear now and can i say this feels so heavy but just it's so well made, right? And sterling silver is really rare because most people think it's palladium. Is that yes. correct? Those, uh, the the Kelly uh, the watch, Kelly watch. I, uh, also comes in palladium and, and uh, gold plated. Palladium gold. There are very They're... very uh, few um, pieces made yep. of sterling silver. Is that? Why it's are the these same. the same? Yes, that's why you've got two because they're so rare. Well, yes, I could grab oh. uh, any whatever I found. I in, find in I I will, I will buy. Yes, and I'm seeing a theme here with black and silver. Is it? Are these all like this? Is this how you bought oh, them? Oh, it's because when I when I am lucky enough to find this, this on the, yeah. in a vintage shop. Or, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know where. Uh, I take them to Hermes. Yes. I have them serviced, yes. polished, and also change the the band for a, a black band because I like. Black oh, bands. so I 
I'm guessing this is your signature then maybe because my signature yes, yes. I mean you can't go wrong with black and, and and silver really but that's so interesting because I know that I didn't know that at all that sterling silver is actually more rare than the gold and palladium I love this collection another thing I collect yep uh, is uh, the 7 RP SF for my bags oh perfect show me show me what you've collected Orange. Okay, let's 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 just like put them all up. Liberty. Oh my gosh, I love the Liberty. I love this one. I love oh, this one. I'm just gonna put them all around. Oh, this is my favorite. Oh this my gosh, one. I missed out on that. My Kelly Twenty Five. So next time, if they have limited editions, just you need to hop on it because it it just sells out. A two of, of course. course. Bestseller. Classic. Bestseller. Put that oh, there. this is a very special. Yes. Best yes. My favorite. I, I have one of these for my uh, Malachite Birkin. Oh, that sold out really quickly too. I missed that. Fauna Animal. Fauna Animal. Oh, so pretty. Yes, I can see that you've got quite a lot. You might need to put yeah. some on your side. This the is trench. trench. I love it. Yes. I don't have and trench. Yes, I have quite a lot because, you know, oh, yes. uh, what I like to do too is to uh, put a different insert in the same bag. Change color. I do sometimes that. I I put the Liberty inside yes. my B twenty five. Yeah. And sometimes not, depending on what I have to do, yes. where I go, yeah. and so on. I love I love I love that. I have to say I do that too. Sometimes you guys would have noticed. I mean, with my Birkins and Kellys, I like tonal colors. Like sometimes when I have my Gris Tortorelle and then I put my Gris Tortorelle in there, and then sometimes like orange really like contrast. Contrast. Yeah. Pop of color. It depends. Pop of color. Yeah. Oh, this is the very very. Classic graphite. The graphite. I think I'm going to put that on your oh, on, on your side here because yes. I've run out of room. Okay. Another Liberty. Another that Liberty. I like for my Kelly 32. Yes. Retourner. It's kind of nice that even though you're you know the founder, you want to collect all your own. I range. still have that excitement. Yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> oh, I saved much. that from the season of love. Oh yeah. Rouge I keep I keep getting asked that question whether you will do reds and. I'm asking them, okay? It's in discussion. It's in discussion. So let's discuss later. We'll discuss later. <laughs> and another E2. Of another E2. You can't go My wrong with E2. Yes. Wow. I have this many is of them. quite a collection. Mm. So we're going to go into a bit of a lightning round question for Marianne. She doesn't know what questions I'm asking because I got so many. I just want to reel through quite a few and I've just picked the ones that most of you guys are. So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Not too hard. Don't worry. Let's go. Birkin or Kelly? Kelly. Your three favorite Hermes colors? Black, rouge ash and gold. Rouge. Is that rouge uh, H, right? Yes. Oh, great. Traditional red uh if you could only have one hermes bags what what would it be uh, oh that's a tough one uh a kelly kelly of course kelly 32 yeah cellier rouge ash box leather box leather gold you hardware do, you really do love your yes only one you said yeah only one this is it favorite hermes bag to travel with since I designed the 7 RP insert to fit in, yeah, the everything. Um, oh, I love that! I brought this on. I brought that on the trip too. Uh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> uh, in three words, describe the quintessential Hermes woman. She's smart. She's smart. She's elegant. Yep, and she's timeless. Beautiful. Perfect. Uh, favorite Hermes boutique. My local boutique, Nice. Nice. And Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. Monaco. Oh, that's a beautiful boutique. I went to have a quick look. What is the most expensive Hermes bag you've ever held? Oh, that was um, one with diamond settings. And that was a Birkin 35. Yep. 35. Uh, crocodile, matte crocodile uh, with, with all the diamonds. Di like diamonds on the hardware, right? Yes, but you know, the hardware is, is um, solid gold on those bags. Oh, and that was uh, that. more than two, more than 200,000 euros. Wow. In the boutique. Wow. Yeah. Spectacular. Super, super rare, right? Super beautiful. Oh. Super spectacular. Favorite Hermes scarf design? Jungle Love. Jungle Love. Yeah. yeah that's a good one. I had a slight hesitation with Brie de Gala, which is also oh, yeah. a beautiful classic. Yes, yes. That's beautiful as well. 
And is there anything you regret buying from Hermes? No. No? Nothing? No regrets? And what is the rarest or most unique bag you have ever held? Okay. A uh, Birkin 25. Yes. Lizard Natura. Lizard is so rare. You know, Lizard is like one of the ones that I really want, but I hear it's getting harder and harder and harder to get. Always harder and harder. That's like a dream. Like, I have to say, one of my favorites is Lizard. But anyway, okay, we're going to end on a very juicy one. Um, I don't know what this is, but I had to ask this question. Marianne, please tell us one Hermes secret you've never told anyone. <laughs> Give us the juicy stuff. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was in the store. Yeah. A few years ago. Yep. And uh, I was offered five Birkin five five uh, five Birkin twenty five in exotic skins. Just like at one go. Yes, at the same time. And you and you... and the real secret is that I was allowed to. I could. I could have bought all five. All five. That I was allowed to do that. Okay, that's debunked another myth. I mean, I'm sure it's like, oh no, is this is this your local store? I know you can't name the store, but no. was it a lot? No. no. So you just walked in, and they're like, Madame, yeah. we have this. Yes, I was traveling. I asked, and it happened. Oh my! I, can, I cannot tell this because you know people won't believe it. Yes, because oh. For you guys that don't know, usually with Birkin, Kelly, um, there is a quota that you only can buy one bag every six months. Is that correct? Yes. And so to be offered, I mean, croc bags already on its own are super rare, but to be offered five Birkin 25s. Different. It's like, wow, I, I want to go visit that boutique. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing that, Marianne. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Mel. So that wraps up the interview. I know it was so long, guys, but I, as I said, there was just so many questions, and I think we covered a lot, didn't we? And I know I thoroughly enjoyed it. We had such a good time laughing. I learned so much. I've got so much on my wish list now. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And also remember that we've got that special code now. Thank you so much, Marianne, You're for providing welcome. that code for us. For my viewers, I will leave it in the description bar below. But that is it. I hope you have a wonderful day or night. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.